There is a king who had is a story from or it's regarded as a, a, a legend. The story of a king who has a rather stupid servant. The servant behaves in a very stupid way. And the king has got frust has gotten frustrated with the behavior of this stupid servant. That one day, out of frustration, the king called this servant and handed him a walking staff, a staff, and told him, henceforth, I am crowning you the most stupid person in the world. You're not laughing. I'm crowning you the most stupid person in the world. Now, I'm always go with this staff. Any day you meet a man more stupid than you, hand over the staff to him. But if you don't see, continue to carry the staff. So this uh, servant, innocently and obediently, carried the staff his master, the king, gave him. And he was searching to know if he's going to find a man or a woman more stupid than him. For years, he was moving with this staff, looking for somebody who is more stupid than him. He could not find anyone. Then after his long search, he made his journey back to the palace. On coming back to the palace, it happened that the king was sick and lying in bed, almost about to die. So the moment this servant came in, he was told of the king's condition, that the king is about to die. So he went in to see the king, still holding his staff. So the king told him, my son, I'm a backing on a very long journey, a journey I don't know if I'll be coming back. And the servant asked the king, when are you coming back? The king said, well, I doubt if I will ever come back again. And the servant asked the king, oh, you won't be coming back? Hey, okay, hope you have made all the preparations, every preparation for your journey. The king said, well, I'm afraid I was so busy I couldn't make enough preparation for this journey. The servant asked him, but were you meant to make preparation for this journey? I said, sure. I was meant to prepare. I was given my whole lifetime to prepare for this journey. And you didn't prepare for this journey at all. The king told the servant, yes, I didn't prepare. The servant turned to the king and said, my beloved king, please take this staff. I have found a man more stupid than myself. <laughs> Take back this stuff. I have found a man more stupid than myself. Now, what this story is trying to illustrate is simply this. Jesus is telling us in the parable, we just listened, the parable of the ten virgins, five wise and five foolish, that on the last day, God is waiting to judge all of us. Now, we will be called foolish virgins, if we fail to prepare for that last day, we'll be called for this vision. That was exactly why the king was handed over the staff he gave his servant, telling him, anytime you find a man more stupid than yourself, hand over the staff to him. And at the deathbed, when the servant realized that the king, who was given a whole lifetime to prepare for his final journey, to the afterlife, did not prepare for it. And he had all the time to prepare, but he was busy with other things. So he handed him over the staff and told him, I think I'll find a man more stupid than myself. This thing continues to play in the life of many of us. Many of us have ample time to prepare for a great future, for a great life, but we end up wasting and squandering it 